good morning everyone uh, this is the second video uh, the first one dealt with uh, the first question in section B of the 2019 November paper and this is a continuation of the revision series of the 2019 November paper today we're going to look at the second question in section B which is B2 and this question basically deals with moments we all understand that a moment of a force is the turning effect of a force and we know that uh, there are two types of moments we have clockwise moments and anti-clockwise moments so today we're just going to look at how the question that came in the 2019 November paper was supposed to be to be done. So the question reads, figure B 2.1 shows a device designed to compress crushed material for school science project. So this is a science project basically and uh, uh, its purpose is just to crush materials. For example, cans, uh, plastics so that it becomes easier to carry them or uh, they occupy less space so uh, let's have a general overview of the question so we have the diagram there we have a hinge and we have a force a force F inside inside here and this force is 10 centimeters from the hinge take note the hinge is what we call the pivot and the pivot we know is represented by that so hinge hinge is pivot pivot is turning point so this system turns about the hinge then we have a second force which is the 50 newton force and this 50 newton force is 55 centimeters from the first force F okay and all these are connected using a lever beam okay and what exerts the force on the crushed material is a piston so this is basically our diagram and uh, uh, that is what we're going to work with now uh, when it comes to the question question b2a b2a is asking state one condition necessary for a body to maintain equilibrium state one condition necessary for a body to maintain equilibrium that is b to a then b to b b to b calculate the moment of the 50 newton force about the hinge calculate the moment of the 50 newton force about the hinge okay then c which is the last uh, question is calculate the upward force F which the crushed material exerts on the piston to keep the beam in equilibrium so those are the questions the total of marks for the question were five marks two for C two for for B and one for A so let's get started uh, let's go back to to where the questions begin uh -huh. so they are asking us to state the condition necessary state the condition necessary now for any object for any object to be in equilibrium uh, when it comes to moments the condition for equilibrium should be that the sum of clockwise moments should be equal to the sum of anti-clockwise mo moments. The sum of clockwise moments should be equal to the sum of 
anti-clockwise moment that is a condition for moments away from moments uh, for equilibrium we also have a condition where we can say that the sum of the upward forces should be equal to the sum of the downward forces now that is that is that so the condition since here we are dealing with moments we are going to put the one for moments so the sum of clockwise moments should be equal to the sum of anti-clockwise moments or sum of clockwise moment is equal to the sum of anti-clockwise moments so the sum the sum the sum of clockwise moments is equal the sum of anti clockwise anti clockwise moments This is this is the condition the sum of clockwise moments is equal to the sum of anti-clockwise moments finish you score your one mark then we can proceed okay we can proceed however we need to reanalyze or we need to before proceeding to the next question because it's it's purely calculation we need to take note so uh, the first question asks us to find the moment of this of this force of this force the 50 newton force we need to find the moment of the 50 newton force so we need to find the moment of the 50 newton force so the moment of the 50 newton force now we need to take note of the following we know the force but we need to know the distance of between this force and the turning point and this distance is from here up to where the force is so we need to understand to know this distance 55 alone will not help us so the total distance in centimeters is 55 55 plus 10 this gives us 60 65 this gives us 65 gives us 65 centimeters yeah so it gives us 65 centimeters gives us 65 centimeters okay so 65 centimeters in meters is 0 0.65 meters so we know it's 0 0.65 meters and the force the force is 50 so let's proceed mm -hmm. to the next so uh -huh. calculate the moment of the 50 newton force about the hinge so about the hinge meaning the hinge is the turning point okay so we know that f is equal to 50 newtons okay 50 newtons then we know that the perpendicular distance the perpendicular distance d the perpendicular distance is equal to 
is equal to 0 0.65 0 0.65 meters so we know that moment moment is equal to force times the perpendicular distance so this will be equal to 50 50 times 50 times uh, 0 0.65 so 50 times 0 0.65 50 times 0. Okay, so this gives us 32.5 Newton meters. So this is the moment, uh, which is uh, 32.5 Newton meters so 32.5 newton meters is the moment uh -huh. so we have found the first part of the question the second part is which is the third part of the question sorry is calculate the upward force f which the crushed material exits on the piston the crushed material exits on the piston okay so let's go back to our diagram and look at uh, so f we said f this is the force the crushed material is exiting on the piston and this is 10 centimeters 10 centimeters from the hinge or the pure yes uh -huh. So what we need to do here is this. Uh, we need now to use the principle of moments. The principle of moments states that for a body in equilibrium, the sum of clockwise moments is equal to the sum of anticlockwise moments. So they've told us that this force is keeping the whole system in equilibrium. So the sum of clockwise moments is equal to the sum of anti-clockwise moments. So since we ha only have two forces, the 50 Newton force and F, so these two forces are producing moments that are actually keeping this in equilibrium. So 10 centimeters in meters, we know that it is 0 0.1 meters, 0 0.1 meters so let's get back to our question okay our question so we what we now need to do is just uh we already have the clockwise moment which is 32.5 newton meters we now need to find the anti-clockwise moment the yeah the force that causes uh, an anti-clockwise moment so we are going to do this. So we know that F times 0 0.1 is equal to 32.5. This is the moment. 32.5 is the clockwise moment. F times 0 0.1 is the anticlockwise moment. So what we're going to do from here is just divide. We are finding F. So divide by 0 0.1. Okay. Then also here, divide by 0 0.1. So 0 0.1, that side cancels off. So we will now have, we will now have uh, F is equal to, F is equal to, uh, 32, 32.5 divided by 0 0.1. So this is 325 newtons. 
125 newtons you can you can check that one out using your calculator so f f f is equal to 325 newtons so this is the force this is the force okay so it's 325 newtons don't forget the units so 325 newtons so this is what gives you the two max 325 newtons thank you very much for watching this video we will soon be posting another video for b3 for b3